okay, I'm probably going to be putting on a few videos because I felt I'm kind of behind on it a little bit. So, I found these alligators. I'm not, I think they're some kind of wood or wood with resin or something. Anyway, they have a wood feel to them. And they take paint good. I'm putting gesso on now because I'm going to paint them really funky and bright and colorful because they, I mean, as you can see, they got a lot of detail and you really can't see it because of the dark color. So I thought, how groovy would it be to put these in like a, a tiki bar or some kind of funky little beachy pub or something, you know, um, at your house, put them wherever you want to. If you like it funky, this would be for you. That's for sure. So, um, as you can see, just the white alone is bringing out the details. See his little teethies? So, we'll get, get them all gessoed up. Let them, uh, flash off. And see what kind of funky colors he tells me he wants to be. And should have these done like, like a bunch of my other projects. This started a couple of years ago, so just trying to play catch up on everything. Get down into the crevices. Even though I'll probably go back with some black gesso. Gesso comes in different colors. It's kind of like kills for your walls. Um, primer for your car. Or metal. Whatever. Your sheet metal. The kind I use is water soluble. So kind of like a acrylic type of gesso. Learned how to use that when I was in school. I got in trouble because all I want to do is draw. So I get you kids out there that wants to do that. You still got to do your school work first though. So. Trust me. I'd have been rather drawing too. <laughs> but anyway. Do your school work. Even though you want to be an artist, you still gotta you gotta figure out at least the the basics. Get off that soapbox. And you just continue to cover it up, and you can tell that. The paint is really, really, really soaking into this piece. They're probably an older piece. It's probably one reason why it is. Woohoo! Time to go overboard with the paint. Alright, we'll spread it all out. I will have more like, um, well, you'd really call it beachy, lakey art, because mine really doesn't fit into any categories of my own, but, um, I'm gonna have the retro fabulous art series at the beach, and I'm trying to think of some more beachy things. I did, when I lived in South Florida, I made these Really groovy, colorful fish, aquatic animals, and they're like goofy looking. Got big old eyes, that 3D eyes that stand out, which really look groovy on your in your Florida room or your tiki hut or whatever. You can even put them outside. I can custom make them. That's where it will have your name. Your your name and everything on it or whatever. Um, 
I always have ideas. My mind goes 90 to nothing. I don't know how I even sleep sometimes. Sleep with a notebook beside my bed, because you never know. Many times I woke up in the middle of the night and had to jot something down. So here's a good chance I won't remember it in the AM. And I only do a light coat. You can kind of see how light that is if we're like in this crevices, but you can kind of see. I'll probably only do one coat because I just kind of want it to brighten up my my color. I'm doing like neon colors. Like, um, my hot colors, neon colors. See, I got the neon yellow. See, that's patio too. That means that outdoors. Woo! But I'll put clear coat anyway, so it doesn't matter. Let's see what other. Oh, this is groovy. And I'm not a big pink fan, but I love this. It's from the 80s, you know. It makes me think about the 1980s. All into all that neon colors. You know, you got that. You got your green. Let me see if I find a green, because this is really what I would like to have him. Yeah, this is some more of the patio. And you can mix. It doesn't matter. The inside and outdoor acrylic paints, you can mix. I'm going to get a video of um, uh, Wicker Mannequin that I, she stays outside. I'm going to get a video of her. I've known I've posted p pictures of her and everything. Her name is Pearl. And she looks like she's dancing on my tree. She's pretty groovy. She's going to get painted. Maybe I'll just do a whole video or a series of videos of just Pearl and her antics. I have mannequins everywhere. Two children mannequins. One of them, kind of creepy. Creepy goodness, baby. Oh, you can't even see that. Sorry about that. That kind of gives you an idea. And then, I'll slide this guy over. And I'm going to show you. Because we are doing, um... We're doing like aloe. You can see these things are a little bitty. I'm doing like aloe and herbs and different things. I've still got to put paint on here. I, sometimes we put paint inside, sometimes not so much. It doesn't matter, it's not going to hurt the plant. We're going to do some succulents, some of my succulents, when it froze, which doesn't freeze very often down here, but when it does, it the plants freak out, and I've lost several, so I'm going to have not quite go starting over, but I've still got to, i got to take care of them. But I'll have these, and I'll have little trays for, it, for them to sit into, or I'll have teacups, and saucers, and just very... I want to be as whimsical as I can with it. Now with that one, I would even go. See that? That's Funkalicious right there, baby. And this one, you might have to put several, several layers just because the neon... Hot colors like this seem to take a little bit more. Oh yeah, see that again with that, that neon orange? That rocks. We don't care if the masses think that it doesn't. These two colors don't go together. I think it's funkalicious. If you like it, go with it. It doesn't matter. Yeah. 
it it might take an I think it is going to take one more coat, but I, I'm really shocked that it's covering this. Could you see how good it's covering? I am shocked. Shockalicious. My new word, I just made it. I'm all about making it up. As I go along, just as long as it's fun. All in fun, baby. Yep, we definitely will have to do another coat, but that kind of gives you an idea of the... I might even do purple pucky dots all over. I don't know yet. I quite made up my mind. Let it come to me as free as possible. I will be back with another video momentarily. Thank you.